Hello fellow warriors against consensus reality. Lovers of truth, wisdom, and now more, more importantly, freedom. Um, oh yes, it's been a rather cool for this country. Um, wet, windy week and uh, haven't gone anywhere for five days. Of course the um, Wear a mask the, everywhere the moment you leave home thing is in is in force this week so um I'm just not in the mood for all the all the uh, snitching Karens out there to be honest I'm, I'm not in the mood for people period at the moment and um, it's only for for a week but uh, it kind of makes me sad to see in this country um, its own citizens being attacked with tear gas and rubber bullets. Um, I remember seeing footage about that in um, Belfast in the um, 70s. Um, I never thought I'd see that here. Yeah, thanks parents for bringing me to this shithole. Um, But this is the world, the world we're living in. Uh, we're living in a world where perception is becoming more important and more easily manipulated, unfortunately. Um, what brought on the idea for this video was a, a uh, post from one of the um, writing whatever sites I signed up to. And uh, the question was, um, is um, Turkey an evil nation? <laughs> And of course, my answer was quite quick. <laughs> um, I think I wrote something like, um, "I'll uh, I'll make it simple. The uh, the government, the nation, yes. Eleftheria y thanatos, freedom or death, which of course was the catch cry of the um, the Hellenic patriots back in the um, back in 1821, when after 400 years of um, Ottoman slavery, we thought, no, we're, we're going to get our country back, and so we did. We weren't fighting for Mother England or um, any of that fucking nonsense, like the like the hallowed Anzacs, right? No, we were actually fighting for our own country. Um, And by fuck, we got it back. And uh, it's kind of funny because the people commenting saying, oh, no, of course not, blah, blah, were clueless, dry toast, um, pink skin gobshites. Anglos who have no fucking idea about the long running um, issues with these groups of fucking greasy cunts. Where you've got genocide happening right up until 19 fucking 74. Ask a Greek Cypriot family what happened to their son back in 1974. Amid the tears, you, you, you might get um, their true feelings what what they think of um, that fucking evil nation. Ask an Armenian what they think of, of Turkey, eh? They're still going through it to this very fucking day. The same fucking group of people who are going on and on about who Black Lives Matter. They, these were the fucking pig-skinned cunts who were causing all the all the riots, even in this country. Black Lives Matter. I'm sorry, but any person who dis, who expects special treatment based on the color of their skin immediately um, receives brutal sarcasm from me. Okay, so you've got a darker shade of skin. And? Do you think that makes you entitled to special treatment? Do you think black Americans were the only people in the history of the world that went through any kind of slavery? Try telling a black American about um, Irish slaves in the uh, Caribbean. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Indentured servants. Okay, so let me let me try that. Okay, so the people who were sold by West African 
black Muslims, right, to the so-called New World, even though there were hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of people already there for thousands of years, tell them that, oh, no, 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 they weren't slaves. They were, quote-unquote, indentured servants. Say what reaction you get from these butthurt cunts. And unfortunately, um, Australia has become a test case of the how-to guide of totalitarian um, regime change. It's the same people. It's the same politicians. It's the same people you fucking idiots voted for. I actually vote for I, I actually add another ballot uh, little square and I, I put the Jedi. But anyway, um, I haven't actually truly voted in many years because of course it's in this country it's mandatory to vote otherwise you get a fine of some sort yeah can you fucking feel the freedom hey eh? it's also mandatory to um fill in your census when you never used to be and of course you get a 202 dollar fine every single fucking day that you don't hand it in can you feel the fucking freedom we're living in a country where people with small businesses have had enough of this fuckery. Um, where people are actually starting to worry about how they're going to put food on the table for their family. Um, because they is, their s small business has been closed for like fucking two months. While um, Gestapo Gladys, someone in the comments... Um, wonderfully coined that phrase of the New South Wales Premier, Gestapo Gladys, got a pay rise. So meanwhile, while Gestapo Gladys enjoys $8,000 a week, uh, these poor bastards who are still um, required to pay rent are thinking, oh fuck, our shop's closing and it probably won't ever open again. What do we do now? Right? While you have these fucking brain-dead, brainwashed assholes who think, ooh, if everyone gets the experimental jab, everything will go back to normal. Well, Gestapo Gladys made sure that's not going to happen. Because she came out and basically said that, ooh, even if lockdown is over, fully over, and, you know, when they eventually get around to, to it, and um, when everyone's got the experimental jab, um... It's still going to be social distancing and masks, right? And meanwhile, it's exactly like 1930s Germany, where the unvaxxed are being excluded from certain little freedom treats that um, Frau um, Gestapo Gladys um, decided to wave in front of everybody oh yes next if <laughs> uh, if we reach certain um certain jab targets um the people who have been who have received the experimental jab will get a little freedom treat you know the freedoms that everybody just let them take right so only the people that have been fully um fully jabbed you know twice um get a little freedom treat while the rest of us are treated like fucking scum and criminals yes we're living in that kind of fucking world i'm thinking okay so how long until we st we're required to wear little yellow stars as well right are you going to take us to internment camps too and, and put us through quote-unquote special showers hey eh? I've never hated this modern world more than I do right now. Um, you ask someone like myself, compared to a typical mainstream media um, propaganda guzzling gobshite, and you'll get two very different perspectives about the, the exactly the same situation. <sighs> protesters are so selfish blah 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 and where was that outrage when those fucking domestic terrorist terrorist assholes 
waving those little fucking black banners um, when they were writing and looting and graffitiing all over the place. Where was the outrage for those? Oh, right. They were actually state-sponsored. Right. Because these people thrive on... These evil sociopathic cunts thrive on chaos. Right? That they create themselves. Let's totally fuck up people's firm foundation by... Release, release the flying Marxist monkeys, right? Let's bring in woke and all this fucking... Let, let's try to um, get people to focus on the 1001 different fucking genders. While we take everybody's freedom away, step by step. You've seen the articles. Eventually, by 2030, um, no one's going to own anything and you will be happy. Of course, because they, they quote unquote, they would have taken it all away. Yeah, it's going to be like a Marxist paradise, right? Oh, and while we're at it, let's sort of fuck up Afghanistan. Um, release the, the, the Taliban monkeys that... Um, certain US agencies were instrumental in creating to begin with. Hey, American government, can you say Mujahideen in the 1970s and 80s? Yeah, we're living in a, in a cunt of a world right now, and um, the only thing you can really focus on and change is yourself. Um, Doing something fun, doing something enjoyable. Um, setting your mind on certain goals you can do under the circumstances. Um, because otherwise, th there's a lot of people giving way to intense hopelessness and depression. And <laughs> the suicide rates are going through the roof. Um, that's a sad state of affairs we're living in. But um, perspective is all important. And we have control over over our own thankfully so one and, and even there um they're trying to get people to mesh with ai and so they quote unquote they want to control people's perceptions as well of course it began as smartphones google glasses that Bluetooth thing you put in your ear. Um, now it's all it's already in, in the stage of implantables, right? If you have a tattoo or a microchip, all the information will be all available here. Oh, and uh, we'll be able to track you wherever you go. Yeah. And so the, the thing that these cunts don't realize is that we are not our meat bags. Our meat bags are simply the vehicle through which we express ourselves in this current lifetime. That's what they don't get, and that will be their eventual downfall. After much mischief and heartbreak and um, fuckery in the, in, in the process. Um, so yeah, the only thing you can really hang on to is your own self, your own inner spark. And um, switch off any and all news stories, all mainstream media fuckery. Take a break from um, YouTube as well. Um, especially when you go through the unpleasant experience I went through the other day, as I shared in my previous video. Wow. Uh, I suppose that's what happens when you take someone at their word, i.e. they've offered an apology, you've accepted, and you thought, okay, we can be civil now. No, people are cunts. Most people are cunts. Um, good salt in the earth people are as rare as hen's teeth, as the saying goes. And uh, to be truly revolutionary now is to be able to think for oneself, make decisions for oneself, and be creative. In times gone by, the artists, the writers, the musicians, etc., etc., they were the revolutionaries. And I think we need to reclaim that. Instead of being just mindless consumers, let's all talk about... Um, Disney and the new Spider-Man No Way Home film and la 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 la. No, what about you get off your lazy backside and actually create something creative 
for yourself out of your own imagination. Oh, of course, but imagination is a muscle that very few people exercise anymore. So wake the fuck up, people. Um, now's no time to have your head in the sand. The um, sarcastic, pissed-off lone wolf on guitar, out. <laughs>